Step one with the fodder shed, no soil. We just throw the barley seed in and level it off. It has an automatic watering system and lighting. The fodder will grow without the lights, but the lights help it be green all the way from the top to the bottom. There's a lot of discussion around climate change at the moment. And from my perspective as a farmer, that means climate variability. We're in a tremendous drought at the moment, the worst drought on record. Having said that, we've also in the last 10 years had really wet periods and really dry periods. And this variability in the climate makes it really difficult to manage. Our fodder shed has been a tremendous tool to help us manage through that process. The fodder shed produces three tonnes a day of barley grass. We've designed that system with our cow mob to give about 10 kilos per day per cow. So that's about maybe half of their diet coming out of the shed and the other half of their diet coming out of the paddock. So we actually manually take the grass out of the tray into a little tractor and that goes into the, to the feed bin. Because the roots are all matted together, we can drop it on the ground, the cows can pick it up and we have very little wastage at all. So planned grazing is a very powerful and useful tool and the barley fodder shed, another useful tool to put together with the two to give us a process of management that really supports the local ecology. In the last five years, we've brought our soil carbon levels from 1% up now to 2.5%. So that's increased our water holding capacity by about six times. Really important when we do get the next rain that that rain will move into the soil and stay there for the plant growth. Hey Julie, how are you?